Hello everybody. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I get my beachy kind of wavy hair. Um, it's something that has been a little bit of a work in progress. Now, remember when I posted that poll on what kind of hair type do you have? There was a lot of you that were similar to me that if I just let my hair air dry, I have a lot of issues with that. Like the, the top here gets like really flat and then the bottom is really wavy. Some parts are curly. It's just not something that I can just go um, because it, it doesn't actually look that good. So I get really frizzy, I'm flat, I have all these different things. But I've been trying to figure out some ways not to put so much heat on my hair and to try to embrace my natural wave a little bit. And this is probably the best thing that I have found. So the first thing I do, so I have washed my hair. Um, I use Daviness. Uh, shampoo and conditioner from my salon. I go to Frey Salon and Spa in St. Peter, Minnesota. Um, but one of the things I absolutely love to put in my hair when it's damp is their all-in-one hair milk. So this is going to just kind of make your hair super healthy. It's a heat protectant. It's, it's a little bit of everything. It will help with volume, but I just absolutely love this hair it's a multi-benefit beauty treatment it smells so good so i always start with hair milk now because i have a bit of that natural wave and i've been wanting to help that out a little bit i found a product at target it's kristen s so it's the same brand of that rose gold temporary tint i put in but this is a curl leave-in cream so it's basically a leave-in conditioner but it's a spray it helps with frizz it leaves your hair very moisturized it's a humidity shielding and um so i bought this and this is what i used last week and it worked pretty well so what i do is i just try to saturate my hair when it's still wet with this stuff. My hair still has a little bit of rose gold in it. That stuff said it would wash out in like one to two washes. And I was in a river all weekend getting my hair wet and we're like four washes in and that stuff, my hair is still a little bit toned rose gold. So I'm putting a lot of this in because what I am planning to do is I am planning to let my hair air dry. So once I put that in, I just try to scrunch it a little bit and kind of give my hair a little help getting my natural wave going on. And I'm just gonna let it air dry. And then I'll be back and show you what it looks like air dried. It's not completely perfect even with this curl cream, but I have a little trick of a little bit of a hair tool that I use to kind of help me get those beachy waves that I want and then I don't have to use a hair dryer. Now the other thing you could do, um, if your hair doesn't get frizzy, you could have your hair damp like this and I have seen a lot of my friends do Dutch braids and then they go to sleep and take those out that would work as well um the other thing I have that I have is I have this like headband thing that you put on and it has like a noodle pretty much and you wrap your hair around it and it gives you like heatless curls you sleep with it I find it a little hard to sleep with that thing on my head so Anyway, I will let this air dry and I will be back to show you what my hair looks like with this product in it. See you in a bit. And we're back. Here is what my hair looks like naturally air dried. Please tell me in the comments that I'm not the only one that this happens to. So I have some curl, some waves, and then frizziness. 
So this is why I barely like ever just let my hair air dry unless I'm boating or on the river and I don't have a choice because this is what I'm left with. Now I have figured out a few ways to make this work so I can wear my hair um, air dried and it still has like those beachy waves for the week. Um, I don't, I only wash my hair once a week so I have to make something work when I wash my hair. So I'll show you what I do. There are two tools we're going to utilize to save this frizzy air dried hair and make it into beautiful beach waves that I can wear all week. The first tool, if you haven't seen me talk about this before, um, this is probably my favorite thing. I use it every single week no matter what hairdo I do. Uh, this is called the volume iron. This is basically like a grid crimper but it is for making your hair look big and have volume and I really feel like this was a huge game changer when I was training my hair so I only have to wash it like every 10 to 12 days is this thing because uh, how it works is you basically just go to your hairline and go one Mississippi two Mississippi maybe go down to three and it's just going to make these little grid lines in your hair that you're not really going to see them because you're going to do this all underneath, but it's going to lift your hair up away from your scalp. So what that is going to do, not only is it going to give you a ton of volume, kind of like if you guys ever crimped your hair, I still do that from time to time. If you've ever crimped your hair and your hair is just like big and beautiful, this is basically doing the same thing, but you're just doing it at the root to lift. So what I find is my hair isn't really greasy too much anyway because I am really dry but it's gonna lift the hair away from the scalp. So that will lift the hair away from the oil. So I'm going to do that all the way around. And then the other tool that I'm taking to rectify and kind of help these waves out is this tool here. So this is the Bedhead Wave Artist. And this thing is really easy to use and it goes super quick like because my hair is already kind of wavy i don't have to do like very small sections i can take kind of big sections i can go kind of fast with this especially on the bottom layer i am just going to go super fast and just try to hit big sections and this is going to help my waves look a little bit more uniform and it's just gonna add a little bit of I guess anti-frizz because it is a bit of an iron it's gonna take my frizz down and it's gonna help my waves out and then also it's kind of like crimping so it's going to stay pretty much all week long so this is basically what I'm going to do all over my head is I'm going to add my volume grids at my root and then I'm going to go through and just very chunky thick pieces hit it with this waver and um, I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Hold on just a moment. So this is what the finished look is. So it's still very beachy. It's a little bit more uniform. It is not so frizzy. And so a couple things I didn't mention. I always use a heat protectant before I do any sort of heat things to my hair. Um, I just use Daveness because that's what I get from my hair gal. And then um, the two things that I put in my hair when I'm doing this. So kind of as I go along after each section, I do spray it with the Senegent's Hair Covery Thickening and Volumizing Holding Spray. I like this stuff because it's not crunchy. The hold is really nice. The other thing I like to put in this look um, is a product by Kevin Murphy. This is called Bedroom Hair and it is a flexible texturizing spray. Now, I am a person that usually washes my hair at night and again, I only wash my hair, oh, I don't know, every 10 to 12 days. 
So I like to really put this texturizing spray in at night before I go to bed. And I just like to kind of scrunch it in there. It smells really nice. And it just makes my hair hold these beachy waves all week long. So throughout the week, kind of what I do is when I go to bed, I do put my hair on top of my head in a very loose ponytail using a scrunchie so I don't get a bump. And then throughout the week, if I need to touch up any of the waves, I will go back in with my wave artist and just hit those sections. But usually I don't need to do any of that. It is just going to stay big and kind of beachy all week. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how I can finally let my hair air dry and do a, just a little bit of something to it to make it livable. <laughs> so, um, and literally that, that probably took me maybe like seven minutes, if not less to go through. Cause I just use like really huge chunks of hair and you don't have to do it perfectly at all because it's a wave. Um, so I really like this hairstyle and then it is a way for me to not have like so much heat applied to my hair. I know I just use two tools. On a normal week when I would wash my hair, I would be washing it, conditioning it, and then hitting it hard with a blow dryer to try to get all of the waves out. And then I go in with the volume iron and then I have to go in with a flat iron. So at least I can eliminate the hair dryer component. And sometimes I don't even do this part until the next day. So I'll just go to bed with my hair kind of wild like you saw. And then this only takes 10 minutes in the morning and my hair is just huge and wavy and great for summer. So let me know if you liked this, if you're going to give it a try. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And um, thanks for watching. See you later. Enjoy that beachy hair. Bye.